Hey guys, this is Mona from Dainty Bite. Welcome to another video and today I'm gonna show you how to properly cook a brisket in the oven. This recipe is really helpful in the winter or if you don't have an access to a grill or a smoker. And I know nothing beats a good smoked brisket and living in Texas for so long, I know a thing or two about a good brisket. Follow all the tips I'm gonna give you and you'll get it right every single time. Let's get started. And this is how you wanna choose your brisket. It needs to have a good amount of fat on one side and trimmed nicely on the other side just like you see here. This is a six pound piece and it's perfect. It's not too thick and that's how you need to choose it. It doesn't have to be too thick and it has almost the same amount of thickness on all sides. I gave it a quick rinse and I'm gonna dry it with a paper towel. I rub with vegetable oil on both sides, massage it nicely. And this is the pan I'm gonna be using. I lined it well with foil paper, topped it with some parchment, just for easy cleanup later. Now's the time to add your favorite barbecue seasoning. And I mean a generous amount. For a 6 pound beef brisket, I added about a cup of seasoning on both sides. You can use the barbecue mix of your choice, but I think the most important spice you need to use is the smoked paprika. It's gonna give the barbecue a really special taste. And I'm using here a mix of salt, sugar, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic, and onion powder. And as always, I'll be listing all the amounts to the spice mix and everything I used in this recipe in the description box below, so check it out. As you can see, I'm packing the spices real well. I want it to stick real well to the meat and the fat part. Some people use liquid smoke to give the brisket that special smoke flavor. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna keep it on the countertop uncovered for an hour. I want it to come to room temperature before I start baking. An hour later I cover it well with one parchment paper and I top it with some foil paper seal it really really well now let's talk about baking i'm gonna preheat the oven to 285 degrees fahrenheit and i'm gonna use a convection oven at 285 i find cooking it in a convection oven seals all the juices inside the meat and keeps it very very moist for a 6 pound piece, you're gonna cook it for 5 to 6 hours. Just make sure to check on it after 5 hours. It might need another half an hour or so. And it's perfectly tender and juicy. If you're gonna cook it using an unconvection oven, use the same temperature and cook it the same way. It might need a touch more time to cook thoroughly and to be moist and delicious. I'm checking at five and a half hours. It looks almost perfect. I'm gonna put it back for another half an hour. Make sure to cover it before popping in the oven. It's out of the oven and it looks perfect. I move it to a cutting board and I leave it for half an hour. I want it to rest before cutting or slicing. I brush it while it's still hot with some good barbecue sauce. I make my own, but you can use your favorite barbecue sauce. One of the most important tips is to slice the brisket against the grain. I like to slice it into thin slices, just like you see here. It is so so tender, flavorful and juicy. I like to serve with some extra barbecue sauce on the side, 
my homemade potato salad, some onions and bread and butter pickles. I really hope you give this recipe a try and let me know what you think in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my recipes. And follow me on social media, the links are gonna be in the description box below. And until next time, bon appétit!